Hi, my Underworlders. Welcome to Rad Hades 2. We are going to unbox Lucario V-Star. And like I said, I'm not used to the V-Stars or the Vs or the GX. I'm mostly used to Pokemons who are like Pokemons without the V-Star and the GX. But now we're going to check these V-Star and GX cards. Well, Maybe they had some GX? Maybe. But like I said, we're going to unbox this, and we're going to go ahead and see, and probably have fun with this. And also, if you're wondering, yes, this is like a part three for the unboxing, because look how many stuff I had to unbox. Okay. Back to the point. We are unboxing this. And they really... By the way, I tried to get the um, Dark Cry box, the Legend thingy, but it cost forty-four dollars at Walmart. I mean, really got. I mean, really forty-four dollars. I mean, I get Walmart had to go ahead and you know want more money, but damn, that's a bit cash for. That and also, I thought they were uh, wanting to have less expensive things. Anyway, sell them. Okay, I have to take the top plastic cover off. Putting that aside. Let's see. Oop. Trying to open these. Okay, let's see. We got Lucario V. Shiny. And Lucario V Star, which is cool. You know what? What if I can add Lucario into this deck? I should really do that. Leave a comment if you think so too. And here's a Lucario V Star size card, which is huge. Huge. I think I should hang this on the wall. In my bookshelf wall, where I keep all my valuable nerdy treasures. And let's see, here is our uh, V Star thingy. Oh, plastic. Cool. Okay, now let's get to the packs. Yeah, I think it was something. A Pokemon scan thing. Okay, we got Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield Fusion, and um, Loss Strange, <laughs> uh, Sword and Shield Dark Strike. I mean, Fusion Strike. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, when I saw it, I thought I was holding it upside down, but no, it was right side up. It was mute that was upside down. Okay, so I think we should start opening the... Yeah, let's open the Mew pack. Ooh, man, this feels thick. That came out so wrong. Guys! Okay. Uh, Numa. I mean, Muna. Muna. Uh, ooh, a plusle. Hope I get a minus. Uh, Shelmet. Actually, this is like my least favorite Pokemon in the show. Ooh, a uh, Skarmory. In Pokemon Go, I have a shiny Skarmory. Ooh, <laughs> Marpeko. Ooh, I don't want that in my kitchen or in my house. I've seen that Pokemon in the anime. Ooh, uh,. Tuxel. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Tuxel? I don't know. Leave a comment if I'm pronouncing that right. Ooh, uh. You like. Electros. Electros, right? If I'm pronouncing that wrong, tell me that too. Ooh, dark energy with a cool design. Uh. Reloom. 
Reloon. Also my least favorite, but still good. Ooh, a Horiyama. Ooh. Blue Bunny. You know, it's Mega Evolve form. Don't you think it's a bit much? But join guys who see that. I am judging. Another of those um, Pokemon trading card live things. Maybe not one for last. Uh, we're going to open this one next. Kind of kind of almost look like Loudroom, right? Loudroom? Yeah, it kind of does. I think this is like its sister form. If not, then hmm, kind of almost looks like Who is his own? So, oh well. You know, actually, these are more cars than I actually get when I go to my Walmart to open some Pokemon pack. And um, they're usually... <gasps> Sorry. Just has some snacks. Um, they're usually uh, fewer cards in those packs. Like, they usually only have three or four. And I wasn't happy. Um, bronzer. And... <gasps> Phalanx! Team Phalanx! Oh, man. That Troy kid from now. Uh, Rise to the Peak. Yeah, that kid. That kid needs some better friends. Ooh, I got Poliwag. Oddish! Oddish. You know, I'm surprised that, um... Well, the main character, I'm gonna call her that. Um... She evolved this to a Blossom that took out a legendary respect. Ooh, a I can't actually pronounce this card's uh, region name, but I know it's a Growlithe, and I got one in Pokemon Go, and I evolved it to. Ooh, <gasps> oh sweet, V Star Garatina. Yes, now I just need a V Garatina. I'm hoping it's in these packs. And it is not. Uh, I got this Pokemon, Pokemon Go. And also, it looks like it's in underwater. I thought it was just a fighting type. But if it's underwater, then... No, look at that. Okay, a water energy. Oops. And a macho. Okay. Um, I posted pictures of a Incineroar and a macho. In my bedroom, and Brad actually made that joke where um, he said that have fun with your two muscle Pokemon. It reminds me of that little comic strip where that boy, where his dad comes into his room and says, Son, we need to talk about the certain Pokemons that you've been capturing. And the son was like, Elaborate with a Gorilla Boom, a Macho, and an Incineroar around him in his bed. I was like, Okay. Then now, uh, um, Ladrian showed up, and he showed his tail, and I was like, oh, okay, that's, your son is, your son is that kinky, <laughs> uh, so we got Machoke, I like the design, it's actually pretty cool, um, Pinkina, right, and Obama Snow, and we're gonna open this pack now. I'm really sorry if this is boring, you guys. So, I mean, if my two videos were that boring, I'm sorry. But, eh, what can you do? I mean, not every openings have to be so flashy. Um, oh, we got Caterpie. Shelter. Oh, Azora. I definitely need this one for my dark deck. If I get a Zorark. Uh, we, go, we also got a... Taimino, trying to pronounce their names. And Klopros, I think. Okay, I actually already have this card, but in a different design. But uh, this this actually looks kind of cool. Pretty new in my deck. Um, Liv Livani. Livani. I guess that I'm terrible at pronouncing names, you know. Uh, psychic Energy, like I said. I already have like 13 of these, but I do like the design of it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know this name of this of this Pokemon, but 
it does resemble of a sea cucumber, and I read about those. And also, they're edible. Our boater. This one's good. Ooh, cross switch. This is good. And another um, Pokemon trading card game live scanner card thing. Ah, please let me get a Giratina V. And if I can't find a Giratina V, I'll probably find it on Amazon. And it'll probably cost like $10, maybe. Or $24, depending on the value of it. I mean, a lot of people are selling good Pokemon cards, and I don't blame them for making money, but still. Ooh! I like this. I actually like their design they did with Zora and Zorar. I like these designs. These designs, uh, they're, um... Let's see... Hasuni? Hasuni? No. <laughs> Whatever. Um... This design of Zora and Zorark, these are actually pretty good. And I know they're ghost types. And I should add that to the ghost deck. Ooh, look! I got the pre-evolved form of that Pokemon. So, I don't have to worry about that one now. Ooh, Gumi! You know, when I saw this in the anime, I always thought this was a bug type. But when I looked it up, it's a dragon type. And that's cool. Gumi is a dragon. Ooh, a bronzer! Background looks kind of nice. Ooh, look! Is the pre ball form of Obama Snow? Ooh, um. Uh, Thornton. It's kind of rhymes like Horton, here's the who, like Horton, and Thornton. And ooh, um. Dugong. I actually like this Pokemon in the first Pokemon series. I actually like this one. That, that one's actually my first favorite Pokemon of the series. Uh, Metal Energy. And, ooh! Um, Panic Mask. I seen this in Rise of the Peak. And I was like, ah, oh, she used that card. And, and, prevent all damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by attack from your opponent's Pokemon. That have 40 HP or less remaining. Ooh. Okay, so I'm adding that's my sec my ghost tech. And I got a ride on. He's my brother's favorite. And uh Rosita. Rose Raid. Sorry. Yeah, I got a Rose Raid. You know, I seen the shiny form and the pre of all form. Um Rosalia. Um the shiny form is purple and blue, and I like that one. I like that one. No, it was black and purple. <laughs> Dumbass. And I got another of those hard things, but sadly, no Garatina V. Oh. That sucks. But I really got good cards here. And, um, yeah. And also, if I ever find... If you guys um, like this video, leave a comment down below. And like I said, if you guys think I should do a ghost deck of uh, the certain cards you saw in my previous video, let me know. And I'm going to add these two into this one. I can open it. There we go. Even though that two of the cards. But if I get card sleeves, I'll probably just use card sleeves to go ahead and cover those. So, boom, the little card. But actually, now I think that's like 62 deck, 62 cards in this deck. So, I'll probably take a few cards and try to, you know, make it work. But yeah, if I should make a dark, I mean, a ghost and dark deck or just a ghost deck, let me know. And also, yeah, this Giratina um, V Star, this one is actually pretty good. Uh, but I wonder, how come he needs a grass, psychic, and... I mean, I can understand colorless, but why does it need grass type? I mean, I know there's psychic types of Giratina and dragon types of Giratina, but why grass? Let me know in the comment below. Okay, guys, see you in the next video.